guys, I have not made a video in quite some time. You know, like when you're busy working and you're like trying to go through life at the same time, everything gets a little hectic. So I didn't have much time to record, you know, working a billion hours a week. All right, not really. I'm not working that many hours, but I do have a job now and, um, you know, school's over the um, fall semester. I'm like, the spring semester is over. So now I'm filling up my time with work and I'm tired and, you know, your feet hurt and whatever if you're standing all the time. But I am still managing to keep my hair intact and to maintain whatever I have in my head. <laughs> um, right now my hair is in a, what is it, like four day old twist out and it's getting really, really big and I love the volume that my hair is exhibiting right now. Like, I love how big it is, I love how it looks and my growth is coming along very well as well. I'm gonna do a little length check on the growth itself because I've been chopping away at my ends like crazy. Like if it feels a little crinkly, I'm like, nope, you gotta go. If it feels a little dry, I'm like, mm -mm, not today, bye bye. Like I'm not playing with my hair, I'm not playing with my ends. I really do want my hair to be healthy. So this is why I'm like cutting away at the ends that I feel like are gonna deprive the new growth of the actual nutrients they need to be getting. So I'm gonna do a little link check on the growth. Um, right now I'm 10 months along that I haven't dyed my hair, so I'm just gonna check up on that and see how that is. See you in a bit. Got my tape measure and I'm gonna measure in inches how long the black part is. So I'm just gonna stretch this front piece down to see where it's at. All right, I'm gonna start it from the root and go down until the black end. The black end's like right here. Right, let's see what that is. And it's four inches. That's not bad. It's four inches in 10 months. I mean, it's a little slow, but I knew my hair didn't grow as fast anyway. So in about another two months, my hair will probably be like five inches of growth because I'll say it's probably like, I don't know. I don't know how to do math like right on the spot like that, especially math with like fractions. So, you know, bear with me. Anyway, I also wanted to share with you guys the new things that I'm putting in my hair. Yes, I'm still using 100% um, African Shea Butter and I'm still using olive oil as my sealing sealant in my hair, but I changed my shampoo and conditioner. Yes, I'm actually using shampoo before I used to um, co-wash mostly with, I think it was Suave Professionals in the green bottle, um, coconut and shea butter, no I'm lying, almond and shea butter conditioner, and now I'm using this line by Hask. Yeah, these bottles are empty because the shampoo and conditioner was so good. I really used it quickly and I washed my hair more often with this because these are infused with protein. Um, yeah, so it says has keratin protein soften and softens and renews your hair and it's a smoothing shampoo. It's free of sulfates and parabens. So, you know, that's always good. You always wanna get the healthiest non-stripping shampoo for your hair because you still want the oils and stuff in your hair. And because my hair is color treated and I wasn't really taking care of it as much before, I wanted to get more protein into my hair because I didn't like how lifeless it was and the curls in the front were always so loose compared to the ones in the back. So my curls were bouncing back once I've actually been using the shampoo and conditioner a lot. And it smells amazing. I'm always one for something that smells amazing. Um, the leave-in conditioner that I used to use was uh, As I Am. I used to use that line. I used to use the their leave-in conditioner. But I feel like my hair has gotten so used to it that it doesn't really moisturize or make my hair feel as good as it used to. So now I switched my leave-in and I'm using a little um, I'm using a conditioner that's a little heavier than the As I Am. Right now I'm using Curls Unleashed. 
this leave-in conditioner gives my hair life it's so good it works really well and i mean i've used it twice so far but my hair does really feel moisturized after i use it i uh, put oil in my hair and then i put the shea butter after as like you know a heavier thing in my hair because my hair is really thick so i do need that moisture i do need that butter to lock in the leave-in into my hair so that's why i use it in that order and it's really really good um, and now something that I have not been doing as a natural, like everybody in the natural hair community are probably like shunning me. Oh, I can't get it out. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so they're probably shunning me because I barely ever did this process. I'm starting to deep condition my hair now. Yes, I'm starting to deep condition my hair because I'm like, if I want my hair, well, the new growth, if I want it to actually be on the right track and not feel so dry and so brittle, I have to deep condition it. So I picked this up at Walgreens by my house, Shea Moisture, um, Yucca and Plantain Anti-Breakage Strengthening Mask with Baobab Oil and Cilantro Extract. Frizzy splits and breaking hair. That's what it works for. Now I'm like, my hair is always frizzy. My hair is breaking and my hair is split. So <laughs> I picked this up and so far I've only used it once. So I don't know, they're not, there aren't really much results, but hopefully um, it does do a lot, of, a lot for my hair in the long run. I'm really going to actually use it. Like I'm not gonna just leave it here, let it sit and then use it like one time this month and then twice in the next month and then wait five months. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna use it every time I wash, every time I condition, I'm gonna use it as well. Cause I really want my hair to be full and to have all its curls and have a good texture and everything like that. And I love my hair texture. I love the mixture of the textures and everything. I love how it gets big and stuff. But I'm just like, I want it to be healthy at the same time. I still am drinking a lot of water. I drink about, a liter and a half of water a day. Maybe I should be drinking more, I don't know. But my face is also clearing up. I had a bunch, 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 bunch of acne, like just a couple months ago because I was barely drinking any water and I'm back on that grind. So my face is clearing up too. And I just want to let you guys know what was going on with me. So I made a video in a little while, but there you go. I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you enjoy it. Please like, comment, and subscribe.